Welcome back to Metro Exodus. In the last episode, I think we checked out a bunch of question marks over there in the southwest of where I am. I say I think because it's been about a week since I played, so I might be a little bit rusty. Um, at the end of the last episode, I was just at that place. It was an outpost full of thugs, and I had just taken them all out, silently, non-lethally. That's where I ended the last episode. But for this one, I thought I would run all the way back to the van which is where I'm at right now, and we'll take it down to some of the other question marks, because I feel like I haven't ridden this thing enough. I've barely ridden it at all, and it's really cool. So, yeah, let's do that. Um, our main quest, which we probably won't get to forever, is to go back to the Aurora and bring them the maps that we got from the communication center. But I kind of want to hit, like, every single question mark before I do that. So, yeah, let's just... let's drive. I don't know if I've ever driven this thing at night, either. It's going to be pretty cool. I only now noticed that it only has one headlight that works. The other one's just all busted up with wires hanging out. so cool the way that water splashed up on the windshield. Yeah, pretty much. That was a big load of bullshit. I can't wait till I can kill the Baron. If there's an option to either kill or spare the Baron, I'm killing him. I think we're about to see what happens when we hit an enemy with this thing. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is, uh, hmm. I don't know if I want to drive across this. I guess? Well, let's scout it out on foot first. There's a lot of question marks around here. Oh god, hi. Oh, Jesus Christ. Do they see me? It is totally dark. They maybe don't. Uh... Man, they're making me awfully nervous. I think I'm gonna kill him. I should find somewhere to go under, though. Let's go over here, so they can't just get me from above.
Maybe I should switch to the assault rifle. Dead, dead. Is it dead dead or is it just... I don't think it's dead dead. Oh no, it is. I saw it moving, but it was just kind of gently, gently gyrating. All right. Ah. Hey, little buddy. Sorry you had to see your bigger brethren die. Just a tumbleweed. Ugh. So we got one right over here. Like right here. What's what's here? Yeah, it's like right here. Question mark is still there though, because I haven't actually found the thing. Where? What is the thing? It's this? The top of this rock? Yeah. What? I don't get it. There's nothing here. There's not even a nest or anything. Oh, this is cool. This, like, oil field. There's, like, a sunken boat over there. Are those question marks? I think the far one is. Let's go check them out. Oh, wait. I think there's a nest over there. That's quite far away from this question mark, though. But yeah, let's go check it out. You know what, that actually makes me feel like the question mark on the map is probably mismarked. I think it meant to be here. Because it was on top of a rock, like there's supposed to be a nest there, but then this rock has the nest. Well, there's nothing in the nest. I don't think. There wasn't in the last one, so I'm not going to bother killing them or anything. I'll just let them sleep.
Someone's definitely made a home here. Oh boy. Oh, it's not burnable. Damn you. Inflammable webs. Ugh. I feel like something bad is in here. I like that they let you try the doors that you can't open. I, I didn't mean that sarcastically. It is actually pretty cool. Oh yeah, we got spiders. Spider nest. Big spider nest. The spiders, like, are they eating that body or what? Creepy little fucks. I do have a couple Molotovs. I'm thinking that I don't know how to avoid getting spit on by the spiders. It seems like it seems like if they're not actively being burned and they're within your line of sight, they can spit at you. I think is what's happening. So maybe I just need to get to an area where there's less pathways around me. I try to like funnel them down a single spot so that I can, if they can see me, then my light is on them. A little bit awkward that the same button to stab them when they're down is also the button used to heal yourself. That's why I accidentally used my medkit back there. What the fuck? Ugh. Maybe I should just run for the light. Over at the ladder. Maybe there's a way to turn on the power in here? I kinda doubt it. Let's try it. Think they can come up? <laughs> None of these webs in here are flammable. It's really strange. Okay, those are. Did I just catch that on fire by going under it with my lighter? Мы 
мы даже погрузку остановить не успели. Буря как началась, оно вроде и не страшно сначала, а потом как даст. Мы шварту выкрепить, по два-три конца на тумбу. Тут сход не оторвало. К утру только стихло. И раз, связи нет. Пока бегали, смотрим отлив, да такой, что уже мели со всех сторон. В общем, только от стенки отошли, сели. Да плотно так. Пытались сами сняться, пропороли брюха, хорошо хоть тонуть некуда. Связи нет, да и толку с нее. Тут и буксир не дошлепает, кругом только лужи остались. И никого. Похоже, мы вообще одни остались. А нефти уже больше, чем воды натекло. So that's They were here when it drained. I mean, it makes sense. How else would they get here? Oh. There's actually somebody here. Hi. Кто ему на хвост наступил-то? Чё там за гастролёвы? Хотя у него и без гастролёров повод поорать на шестер своих каждый день находится. А сами бараны, что не пошлют его подальше, как я. So they said, fuck you to the Baron. Good. Makes me like them. Could be an ally then. Ох ты, мля! Не стреляй! Не стреляй, братуха! We're cool. Погоди! Ты чего, из гастролеров этих? Ну, что на поезде приехали? С ума сойти! Так заходи! Чувствуй себя как дома, братук! У меня тут из-за пауков гости не часто бывает. Хотя костей шестер бароновых уже полный трюм набился. А ты, походу, фартовый, раз сюда добрался. Я-то как от братков драпать пришлось, тут затихарился. И долго за пауками подсекал. Думал, сожрут с концами, но не, они свет боятся, так что нормально устроился. Теперь вот пушки и барахло с их добычи собираю. Пукам-то причиндал эти безнадобности. С того и живу. Ну а в свободное время радио кручу, так что за все события в округе в курсе. I just want to pause for a moment. It's really cool that... They made their home here with the spiders, and then they just kind of subsist by looting what's left from the bodies. The spiders get to eat the bodies, right? They get the nutrients that, of course, this person would never take. But then the other stuff that the spiders can't use, they take. Guns and, I don't know, cans of food and whatnot, clothes. It's sort of like a symbiotic relationship. Because I imagine that they probably bring in quite a few people coming in because they see the, the lights and the torches and whatnot, and they probably can tell that somebody's living here. So they come in probably trying to steal their stuff, especially the Baron's people, since they ran away from the Baron and gave him the finger, metaphorically or literally. So they bring in the all the, uh, the people for the spiders to kill, and then the spiders and the hermit both just make off really well. <laughs> It's really cool. Они же все по радио передают. Скрываться нет кого. У рабов радио нет. Так вот, ваш поезд, как заметили, барон всю вышку на уши поставил. Решил это на него персонально наезд. Ну вот скажи, нормальный он, барон этот? Реально же больной на голову. Мания преследования называется. Вот как. Ну, допустим, собралась какая-то бригада его валить. С шиком, по-царски, прямо на паровозе. Ну, допустим. А чего тогда на старой станции останавливаться? Подкати прямо к воротам замка и вперед. Но не, рассуждать это не к барону. Сейчас он для этого слишком великий. На том и погорит, думаю. В общем, братуха, я тебе чего скажу. Если реально барона пришьешь, 
Тебе вся пустыня будет по гроб жизни в ноги кланяться. Ну и от меня персональная благодарочка выйдет. Oh, I will, don't you worry. Ну, я тебе заболтал совсем. Ты отдыхай. Верстаком вон пользуйся. Короче, чувствуй себя как дома. А я пока еще радио покручу. Thank you. Diary fragments. You can easily get used to the sound of those geysers. They're not really that loud. When I made some earplugs, I started sleeping like a baby. The main advantage of the place is that none of the Baron's dogs would even think of coming here. Compensates for a lot in my eyes. Just in case, though, I finished installing a zip line in the morning. Having a quick escape route never hurts. Got up to take a leak tonight. Heard something scratching the metal somewhere down in the hold. Took my gun and went there, but only saw it scamper behind the containers. A damn spider. And I had only just made myself home here. These pests will ruin the place. I'll try to burn their asses out tonight before they multiply. They're tough to kill with bullets, but at least they hate light. If you manage to get the bastard into a lit spot and it has nowhere to run, it dies right there. Guess they multiplied before they could get them all out. Неплохо ты на маяке им шеи намылил. Да. И вовремя. Гюль это барону давно как кость поперек горла. Столько лет уже местных против него подбивает. Ну, сейчас уже и местных-то на свободе, считай, не осталось. Я бы на ее месте сидел тихо и не отсвечивал. Она все не унималась. Вот и нашли ее базу. Но тут ты весь кайф барону обломал. <laughs> да, не зря он на ваш счет так напрягся. I love that little fan. Looks really cool. Разборки. Братки рвут и мечут. Один кричал, что там целая бригада орудовала. Но что-то мне подсказывает. Что это один человек сработал. И я его, похоже, знаю. Не знаю, что там тебе надо было, но развлечение получилось на все деньги. Спасибо, братуха, порадовал. Они там до сих пор, небось, бегают, нападавших ищут. One person gang. дальше в том же духе. Только на пролом не при. Подстрелят, и я тут опять скучать буду. Um, oh wow, I have a lot of crafting supplies. Okay, let's make a couple medkits. Pretty good on ammo. Yeah, pretty good on ammo. Pretty good on all this stuff. I'll make one more knife, I suppose. Oh, what do I have here? Extra bright flashlight. The incandescent bulb is replaced with an arc discharge metal halide one. The main advantage being a powerful beam of light produced, with increased power consumption being the main drawback of this upgrade. Oh, I'll take the increased power draw. Yeah. Hmm. And to use it, I also have to get rid of the the thing that improves the battery. So it's not only going to draw more power, but also draw even extra more power. Let's see how good it is. Sorry, I have no idea what you've been saying to me. <laughs> that is pretty bright. Oh. Little shortcut. Yeah, okay, you know, I'm going to leave this on for now. It's not like the power draw on the flashlight has ever been super high. I wonder if it'll do more damage to the spiders, because it's brighter. Let's change our weapons a bit, too. Uh, for the shotgun, let's change the grip to the hunting stock. Gives me a little bit more stability. Let's also clean this thing a bit. Maybe not to full, but like halfway. Well, more than halfway, 75%. For this, let's clean it up to full. And uh, let's get rid of the suppressor for now. 
Just go with the full-on barrel. More damage, more accuracy. Super loud. Yeah, that's good. Oh, uh, I should probably make a couple gas mask filters too. 44 seconds is not a lot of time. A couple minutes should be fine. Ah, right, I can make the incendiary ammunition. For the... Teak, 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 what? Teakar. Super expensive though, I don't want to bother with that. Yeah, these six... I want to make something that uses a lot more of the first thing rather than chemicals, because I'm kind of lacking chemicals, so maybe some hand grenades. Uh, three's enough, though. I don't need that many. So many things just take chemicals. Could make more assault rifle ammo. Sure. Alright, that's good. Благодарочка, братуха. Тут ствол не нужен. Спокойно все. Yeah, no problem. They've really shown me a lot of hospitality. Like, here, just sleep, use my place. What? Stop what? Oh, was it the light in the face? Oh, sorry. Sorry. Нифиговый у тебя зажигалка, братуха. Были бы тут рабы, уже на колени бы бухнулись. Реально же священное пламя. <laughs> <laughs> I love that they commentate the different things you do. Having your flashlight on them, turning it off, having your lighter open. Didn't they say I could sleep? Like, that looks like a bed, but I can't. I want to get my health back. Do I want to go back to the hold to get a little bit of loot and face the spiders? Not really. I don't think there's much down there, just a couple bodies. Yeah, I think I'll leave it. We got a bunch of different levels to this thing though. Let's go up. That's the zip line. Just takes me to another part of the ship. Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, God. Getting a suntan? Are you protecting anything? I, I don't see anything. That's nothing. It's like a seismometer or something. Can't use that, right? No. Oh god. Yeah, there's actually not that much here. Maybe these are like alternative alternative entrances? Like you could probably easily get there if you came up the hill back here. So it's like an alternative way to get in here, I think. I think I'm done with this place. Oh, that's cool. That was a unique animation. Just, they don't usually stop themselves with their with their feet at the end of that thing. All right, where is next? Got a couple question marks over there, kind of like halfway across the bridge. Um, let's go back to the van and drive it across, I suppose. Why did that just randomly catch on fire? That's a little bit concerning. There's a lot of dry brush around here. 
<laughs> what is it doing? Why is it on fire? There's no fire anywhere around here. No campfire, no torch, no geysers, nothing. What the fuck? Another mystery. Just like the hookah and the gun. Actually, before I drive the vehicle, a couple spots here that aren't actually question marks, including a floating thing. There's another mystery. A fourth mystery now. Like the ship over here isn't a question mark. that brick at me. Ooh, that went into a bad place. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my god, look at this carnage. Oh, they're just going to be rotting here now. All these flies already. That was really cool, though. Am I... Yeah, I'm missing a knife. Here we go. I was hoping to use a bed to heal, but... No, I'm still not going to do it. I might find a bed. I might find a home out here. And then I could just rest. Take a swig of water. Get my health back. I don't want to waste medkits. I do want to check out this area. There could be such good things in this toxic sludge. Okay, game. I'll do it. Looks like snow, but I mean, obviously it isn't. What is it? Some sort of runoff from the oil? It kind of looks like salt. Oh, is it just sand? No, this is sand. This is too white to be sand. <laughs> Just watching the sunrise out here? <laughs> right in the forehead. Yeah, this is where I just drove from. Doesn't look like there's anything on the shore. No, we're good. Let's get back in the van. <laughs> 